we have four to five varieties. Um, the first variety would be the Broca's aphasia, in which the inferior lateral frontal lobe of the left hemisphere is affected. Broca's aphasia is known as a expressive aphasia. The person is enabled to express what they're trying to say. They understand what's being told, but they cannot express their words. So what the patients who patients who recover from Broca's aphasia would say that we understood everything that's being said, but we're having difficulty in initiating language, in trying to speak and trying to express how we feel or think. In Wernick's aphasia, it is a receptive type of aphasia, and this receptive aphasia happens due to temp damage to the temporal mandibular region of the left hemisphere. In this type of aphasia, patients who recover say that we cannot understand what's being told to us, and we cannot understand what we are saying. So how severe this Wernick's aphasia depends on how severe the damage to the brain is to the temporomandibular region. It can be just simple. Per the, patient is, um, the patient finds their speech and others as a foreign language, so the patient will talk gib that that's a more complex form. The patient will be speaking in gibberish. They cannot, um, they cannot make sentences because they are unable to understand. They are unable to understand what they're saying. Um, or it can be just that the patient does not understand specific words that are being said. So you will find the person saying a regular sentence, and all of a sudden, that person will say a word or two. They will add a couple of words that make no sense in the sentence, simply because they don't understand it. So they cannot. Um, so the difference here is that they cannot understand the language itself. They can talk, they have no problems in initiating language, their speech is fluent, but they'll have strange words popping up and it will sound gibberish. And some, um, and some may diagnose it as some psych psychotic behavior, but it's not. It's just an, an inability to talk due to not being able to understand the words. But then inability to uh, uh, make proper sentences, you can say. Another type of aphasia is the nominal aphasia. Nominal aphasia happens when only a defect in words happens. So that happens for so um, they cannot name objects. They say a normal sentence, but when it comes to names of objects or names of people, they are incapable of expressing these names. They only forget names, and that happens due to a damage in the posterior temporal parietal region of the brain. Another type of aphasia is the, um, the, this is the fourth variety, it's the global aphasia. The global aphasia happens when the person is incapable of um, expressing or receiving language. So it's a mix of Broca's aphasia and Wernick's aphasia. And the, it's the commonest type of aphasia that happens due to an infarct in the brain. Um, one more type of aphasia is known as conductive aphasia. Conductive aphasia is due to damage in pathways between the Wernick's area and the Broca's area of the brain. And um, what happens here is that the patient is unable to repeat what um, you're trying to say. When you ask a patient to repeat certain words, they will be incapable of repeating these words to you.